Hello everyone, my name is Clentus and welcome to my YouTube channel where I do YouTube education. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into this video because we've got a few things that we need to cover. So as you can see with the title of the video, I'm going to be explaining to you five most profitable niches and on top of that, I'm going to explain to you monetization and how does monetization tie itself with the niche. So as you guys have heard me say this over and over and over that you must create content that people are searching for on YouTube and I get a lot of DMs, people asking me, hey Clintus, what is the content that people are searching for on YouTube? Well, I did create a video where I did show video ideas that are searchable on YouTube. And then there were this group of people who asked me, but what YouTube niches that are profitable? Then I was like, hmm, that's actually a very good idea. And as you know me, I will go into the rabbit hole and I began to search and search and search and I gathered all the information that I could. And now I am bringing it to your attention in case you are interested in making serious money on YouTube. So I hope you have your pen and notebook because there is a lot that we need to cover. So the first thing that I want to cover so that I can tie it in with the five most profitable niches on YouTube. As you should know by now that in order for you to get monetized on YouTube, you need to meet four requirements. That's 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 public watch hour, your two-step verification must be activated, and also your YouTube channel must have zero community guideline strikes. So once your YouTube channel has met all four of these requirements, then you can apply to the YouTube partner program where a human being is going to go and sit down and watch all of your YouTube videos that you have uploaded thus far to check that your videos are in line with the YouTube partner program policies. And that also includes whether your YouTube videos adhere to the advertiser friendly content policies and all kinds of other policies as well, including community guidelines. So if your YouTube channel is clean from all those things, then the YouTube partner program is going to accept you and voila, ads will start playing along your YouTube videos while you await your pin. And then from there, you will start making money on YouTube. So once ads have started running along your YouTube videos, YouTube will take 45% of the ad revenue while you take the rest of the 55% of the ad revenue. So when it comes to monetization, there are going to be abbreviations that you are going to see in your YouTube studio the moment you have been accepted in the YouTube partner program. These abbreviations you are going to see CPM and RPM. So what is CPM? CPM is cost per mile or cost per mile. That means cost per 1000 views. And then you'll also see another one called RPM. RPM is rate per mil, meaning the amount of money that you will take at the end of the day after YouTube has taken its 45% out of the CPM. Let me explain what is CPM. CPM, it is, in a nutshell, it is where advertisers bid to YouTube to say they are willing to pay so much for this niche or so much for this video on this particular channel per thousand views. So let's say that your CPM is a hundred dollars, which is incredible based on the type of niche or content or topic that your YouTube video is all about. And so an advertiser will be like, oh, I'm willing to bid a hundred dollars for that niche or that topic on this particular YouTuber's video. And then YouTube, of course, then will look at a variety of factors that are going to determine whether that video, it is monetizable or not monetizable. One of the things that it's going to look at is your advertiser-friendly content. That means you are not swearing in your YouTube videos, you are not naked on your YouTube videos, you are not being discriminatory on your YouTube videos, you are not being hateful on your YouTube videos, and you're also not attacking other content creators on, you, on your YouTube videos and things of that nature. Because at the end of the day, advertisers do not want to associate their brands with questionable characters on YouTube. 
So pay attention to this because there are five factors that determines whether your YouTube videos are worth a high CPM or a low CPM. This means how much advertisers are willing to pay you for your content. Of course, your niche. What type of niche you create on your YouTube channel will determine how much your CPM is going to be. However, if you are going to do niches like the ones that I'm going to be mentioning in this video, the five most profitable niches on YouTube, that is when you will start making serious money. I'm hoping that you will reconsider your position right now about the content that you are creating, especially if you want to be one of the millionaire YouTubers. So under this point, your niche will determine what CPM you are going to earn through your content. Number two, your country. The CPM will also be determined on where you as a content creator are based in the world. If you are based outside of the English speaking countries like the US, Europe, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, and some parts of English speaking Asia, which are developed, then your CPM are going to be a little higher versus if you live in countries where advertisers don't necessarily exist then your cpm will be quite low number three your language what language do you speak on your youtube videos if you are going to speak vernac on your youtube videos clearly and it's obvious that you have alienated the high paying cpm countries in the world like the english speaking countries and therefore those countries will not place adverts on your youtube videos that could actually pay you a significant amount of money if you had done your content in english so speaking english on your youtube videos is a huge advantage especially when it comes to cpm meaning the amount of money you are going to make on youtube however if you are going to be speaking vernac or your mother tongue on you on your videos unfortunately your cpm can be as low as 20 cents the highest could be just a dollar again depending on which country you live in for example, if you are in South Africa and your YouTube videos are in Venec, whether it's Tosa or Zulu or Pedi or Tonga, then your CPMs will be somewhere around $1, $2 at most. Meaning advertisers do go to YouTube and bid to have the, to have the adverts running along YouTube videos. But if you come from a country like Zimbabwe or Mozambique or Malawi, where, are, where there is a very small pool of, ad, of advertisers there, then your CPM will start as little as 20 cents, highest 50 cents per thousand views. So in order for you to make a decent amount of money, I would advise you to stay away from speaking your mother tongue on your YouTube videos so that when the YouTube algorithm promotes your videos, it will promote your videos to even the developed countries like the USA, Canada, Europe, and elsewhere where they speak English. And that is how you are going to make significant amount of money from your Google AdSense revenue. Number four, your views. Basically, this one is more like, remember I told you that the YouTube algorithm right now is no longer about views, but about watch time. So if you have viewers that actually consume your YouTube videos throughout, then YouTube algorithm becomes very happy because it knows that YouTube is going to make money. Most importantly, you too are going to make money. Remember, you take 55% of the Google AdSense revenue and YouTube only takes 45%. So this is why it's important that watch time is imperative when people are watching your videos. Hence, they should watch at least 65% of your videos so that YouTube is able to run ads along your YouTube videos so that they make money and you also make money. So you see how important it is for you as a content creator to also ask your community to watch the ads because it doesn't only help 
YouTube, but you as well. So they, this thing called playbacks, people that are monetized, they know what I'm talking about. So just because people viewed the video does not necessarily mean that that viewer watched the video from the beginning to the end, or at least the majority of the video resulting with the viewer watching at least four or five of the adverts that are running along your YouTube video. So if the viewer does watch the adverts and watch them throughout, then that is counted as a play back and therefore the youtuber will earn money from those ads so views alone is not enough is how long do viewers watch your video and in between that how many of your viewers watched the adverts number five your audience now this one is also important because what youtube checks is how many women are viewing your YouTube videos? How many men are watching your YouTube videos? And on top of that, what are the age groups? Women tend to be the consumers more than men. So YouTube will look at that factor and also to look at the age bracket. Usually people around the ages of 18 to about 45 are the ones that are always at the mall buying things. And as a result, YouTube as well as the advertisers will be very excited to find that your YouTube channel has ages between 18 to 45 and the majority of those viewers are women, then they are willing to put some money on your YouTube videos. Again, location, location, location plays a pivotal role where the YouTuber is in the world. If you are in the developed countries, then you are going to make far more money than countries that are outside of this developed world. And therefore, this is where the niche also plays a pivotal role when it comes to the audience. Having said that, so what are the five most profitable niches on YouTube? Now we are tying monetization with these five most profitable niches on YouTube. The first one is finance. If you are going to do a niche around finance, that is personal finance, whether how to save money, how to budget, how to get out of debt, how to draw a budget, how to be an entrepreneur, how to be a businessman, how to make money online, anything that has to do with money, then that niche pays pretty good. It can pay as high as $200 per thousand views. That is incredible. And the advantage about this niche, you don't necessarily have to have hundreds of thousands of views that are watching that video. You can have as little as 10,000 views. And then at the end of the day, you make quite a good, you can make quite good money, more money than a person who has a million views. So this niche is lucrative. Don't take it for granted. If you are a person that is knowledgeable about finances, perhaps this is the niche you should be pursuing. Number two, tech channels. If you are interested or you are a tech head, you like gadgets, you like technology and electronics, hey, there is money in this niche. I'm talking serious money. Not only does it have money, but also brand deals, they come flocking and practically begging at your knees to collaborate with you in order for them to expose their products. Whether the product is new or the product is secondhand, they'll be there saying, hey, let's collaborate, please review my product, and you can charge them insane amount of money. I mean, insane. Not only you are making great money from Google AdSense revenue, but also outside of your YouTube channel where people come in and say, hey, Here's a free product. Can you check it out for me? And can you expose it on your YouTube channel? If Apple has a new iPhone, they can approach you and say, hey, we are having a new release. They'll give you the new release for you to use for a couple of weeks or a couple of months and then create a YouTube video where you are reviewing that product. And as a result of that, you will not only earn money from Apple, but you will also make a lot of money from Google AdSense revenue. So that's like shooting two birds with one stone. So if you're a tech head, try and adopt this as a niche that you can do on your YouTube channel and make some serious money. 
Number three, software tutorials. If you are a person who like web designs and you are also a guy or a woman who is into that whole uh, IT world, then you are in a lucrative niche on YouTube. Not only are you going to be making $50 to $300 per thousand views, but also you'll be making tons of money from affiliate programs as well as brand deals. Because a niche like this one, you will have Apple once again or Microsoft kneeling at you and say, hey, let's collaborate. I want you to talk about the new windows or whatever the programs that you guys talk about in software, it's lucrative. Think about it because the CPM can range as far as much as $12 all the way to $300. I saw a British YouTuber who does software niche on YouTube and his highest CPM was $300 per thousand views. That was incredible. I thought, wow. And at that time, his views were ranging around 600,000 views. You can imagine out of that 600,000, how many people watched the ads as well think about it the fourth most profitable niche on youtube is education if you are doing a niche like the one that i do it's under education you have placed yourself in a lucrative niche so it doesn't have to be how to create a youtube channel but it can be all kinds of other educational based topics on your youtube channel you can teach people how to you can teach people how to do things on their own like diy there is a whole host of topics that you can do under education and you'll still be making tons of money this niche does pay anything between ten dollar cpm all the way to about two hundred dollar cpm that is two hundred dollars per thousand views can you imagine how much money you'll be making if you are under the education niche so curious old me so i approached a youtuber that does the same niche as I do, just to find out what am I looking at. She was very open about the amount of money she earns every month just doing YouTube education. So she said that she makes between $5,500 all the way to $25,000 a month from just teaching people about YouTube. And she said that the same niche also is highly profitable in affiliate marketing program. She makes almost every month around $35,000 just from affiliate links on her YouTube channel. Meaning that if you go under her description box, you will see her affiliate links where she is uh, promoting the camera she's using, the ring lights, software, editing tools, you name it, all that stuff. People that are curious about what she uses to create her YouTube videos will go into a description box and click on those links and purchase those items. As a result, she gets a commission and all in all, they amount to about $35,000 a month. So this type of niche does pay. It's lucrative. Don't take it for granted. And number five, lifestyle. Now, wait, 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 wait. When I say lifestyle, I'm not talking vlogs. Yes, there are vlogs per se, but the type of vlogs that I'm talking about is high-end, like high-end beauty. If you're thinking of high-end beauty in South Africa, I'm talking about the Mithali. If you are talking about US, I'm talking about the Jackie Aina, that type of lifestyle. The other one is fashion. And when I say fashion, I'm talking serious fashion where you go to Shein or you go to Zara or your things of that type of nature those are considered as high-end niche high-end lifestyle niche that also pays a lot of money not only does it pay a lot of money but also you get brands approaching you where you can charge them insane amount of money that is how these beauty gurus or the beauty you create uh, or the beauty content creators are making millions of dollars from the other type of lifestyle content i'm talking travel destinations i'm talking restaurants food as well as fitness health 
anything that has to do with lifestyle but high end this type of niche is very very lucrative on youtube so this is something that you need to think about i've got two bonus most profitable niches the are the first one is e-commerce if you know anything around e-commerce and drop shipping and things of that nature this type of niche does pay it's lucrative on youtube the second one is real estate if you are a person who's knowledgeable about real estate property and all that stuff this is a very much sought out niche it has views and these views are very engaging meaning that the chances of your viewers watching real estate videos they also watch all the ads because you know what on those ads you are going to have property 24 advertising a new home and somebody sitting in the u.s thinking of coming to relocate to south africa they see a home on property 24 is it property 24 and they will click on the ad and then basically find out more info information through you through your youtube channel and that is why advertisers are willing to pay lots of money around this niche so it's very very advisable that on your youtube videos speak english so i hope that this information has given you an idea about monetization and how it's linked with the niches that you are doing with your youtube channels so that you can make some decent amount of money on youtube however there is nothing wrong with you doing the niche that you are in if you are comfortable and this is what you like hey do it as long as you are providing value to your audience that is all that matters other people that want to be rich then perhaps then you can start thinking about doing content around these five profitable niches on youtube well that is it guys if you like this video give it a like subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to click the bell notification so that you do not miss out on any of my new uploads please leave me a comment down below and also follow me on instagram i will also highly appreciate it if you left me a comment down below did i say that oh do share this video far and wide especially to anybody that is thinking of starting a youtube channel Thank you for watching and I will see you next time with a new video. Goodbye.